You're going to meet Nancy Anderson and Scott Edwards. So folks, you can please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to You Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and you'll divide an extra hundred dollars. It's a common word, something you find around the house. You little rascal, you. <laughs> Nancy, I'll start with you because you are a little rascal, aren't you? Where are you from, Nancy? Well, I was born in Edgewood, Maryland, but I just lived there for a few weeks, and then I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and since then I've lived in Alabama and Georgia, North Carolina. <laughs> uh, how old are you all, Nancy? Um, I'm 39. Well, you're 39. Well, you sure don't look at that. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> and you're Scott Edwards? Where are you from? Partly. I'm from Springfield, Mass, originally. Oh, Springfield, Mass. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, was this early mass? Uh, no. <laughs> now, how long did you uh, how long did you stay in, in Massachusetts? Well, I left there when I was ready to go to college. Went two years at Cornell, and then I had to go in the army during the war. Why? Not, well, <laughs> he was crazy to go. <laughs> Don't let him get away with that. I couldn't convince them otherwise. I was in the army for about two years, and then oh. following that, I finished my bachelor's degree at Cornell. And then I went a uh, year at Yale for my master's degree. And following that, I had a Fulbright fellowship in France. And then after that, uh, I went back to Cornell for a couple of years to finish my doctorate. Well, you have an impressive scholastic background, Scott. Uh, I think it shows clearly the length some people will go to avoid work. <laughs> <laughs> or as we call it, work. <laughs> now, what kind of work do you do, uh, Scott? Now, Groucho, I'm in the technical sales department of Atomics International Division of North American Aviation. Well, any job that has a title that long, long is usually short on pay. <laughs> uh, actually, what do you do? Do you sell uh, atomic bombs from house to house? No, in fact, I should make it rather emphatic that uh, our work is strictly non-military. I always like to help a struggling and worthwhile young salesman. How much do they cost? Well, a complete installation will go from $100,000 up to several million. No, I don't mean the, never mind the total cost. I mean, how much would it be a month? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't if know. If I can get it by the month, I'll take one. That is, if you give me trading stamps. <laughs> Nancy, I notice you have a decided northern accent. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been in Southern California? Well, I've been here for three years, but I've lost most of my accent. <laughs> How does the city of the Angels compare with your city of the Dodgers, I mean, compare with your home down south? Uh, which do you prefer? You want me to tell you the truth? I certainly do. Well, we I, don't have I, I anybody. I much prefer the south. You do? And yes, is that sir. why you're up here? I'm, I'm Somebody that in the North <laughs> Pole, I think. <laughs> oh, I why do you prefer the south? Well, I don't like the traffic and the smog, and I don't like... Don't you think he's cute? He's real cute. Well, he's in the north. <laughs> like the general attitude as well either. I think about the first day I was here, I went into a grocery store and on the wall they've got signs, pickpockets will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and absolutely no checks cashed and forging checks as a feeling uh, and, and you will be arrested. <laughs> and this store is protected by the Eagle Eye Detective Agency. And uh, where I come from, they have signs that say through, you, through these doors past the finest people in the world, our customers. Well, you must remember that we have a lot of crooks in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's just what I mean. Scott, let's get back to you. Are you married? No, I'm not. How old are you? 33. And you're not married yet? No. Well, how is it a handsome, bright young fellow like you isn't married yet? Well, I guess the right girl never came along, Groucho. Oh. Just what do you consider the right girl? Oh, uh, I'd like for her to be stimulating intellectually and emotionally. Mm -hmm. And that about sums it up, I guess. So, what do you, uh, what do you... <laughs> I like the brief way he dismisses this whole thing. <laughs> well, uh, you, at the moment, you have no girl, huh? Uh, no, no one in particular at the moment, Groucho. Uh -huh. Well, perhaps you're doing something wrong. Just what do you do when you have a date with a pretty girl? <laughs> well... I mean, why don't you lie down and tell old Dr. Hackenbush all about it? <laughs> It lo it's only $30 an hour. <laughs> well, actually, I have an apartment down at the beach at Malibu, and when the moon is on the water and the surf is nice, and we have a little pleasant music in the background and a little martini, it can be quite effective. 
Well, it sounds very romantic. How do you fix your martinis? Well, I mix uh, five to one. Five to one? Well, those are pretty good odds. Uh... <laughs> now, let me get this straight. You put in five parts gin to one part vermouth? That's right. Uh -huh. Well, what do you need the moonlight and the music for? <laughs> pleasant experience talking to the North and the South simultaneously. And now let's get down to business and see how much money you can win. And I think it would be wise if you said no more about that tomato surprise you're operating down at the beach. <laughs> now you have selected from our list of 371 categories the foreign words and phrases. All of the following are foreign words or phrases used in everyday speech. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Now, what are the Latin words that collegians use to indicate the college which they attended? The alma mater. The alma mater. The alma mater is right. Yeah. You know, I have one right. What is the French phrase that means appetizers served before a meal? Order. That's right. I thought it was ooh la la. <laughs> you now have two right, two more right, and you'll have a thousand dollars. What is the French phrase that means out of action? Well, it's hors de combat. Oh. Well, you, now, should, you should know that. We have one wrong now. If you get the next one wrong, the game is over for you. Now, what does the French words mal de mer mean? <laughs> Seasickness. Yes, I'm rather you said it rather than this. Uh, uh, no. You have one right. What is the Latin phrase that means my other self or bosom friend? Hmm? Alter ego. That's right, alter ego. Too right. Now what is the German phrase that means till we meet again? <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen is absolutely right. You now have three right, get the next one right, and you'll have $1,000. What is the French, no, what is the French phrase that means seek the woman? <laughs> Cherchez la femme. Cherchez la femme is right. And you've got four in a row, so you win $1,000. Now, you've won $1,000. You can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a chance at $10,000. So why don't you go over there and sit down and think about it, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Groucho, we have a, uh, a couple of uh, sisters ready to meet you now. Uh, one of them doesn't speak English, however, the uh, other one uh, is going to act as her interpreter. So, uh, here they are, Mrs. Ida Tondino and Mrs. Isabella Caracciolo. Would you Welcome please? to you, that's enough of that. Welcome right. to your right. life. <laughs> Say the secret word and divide an extra hundred dollars. It's a common word, something you'll find around the house. Well, there they are. Huh? Ida Tondino. I did Tandino the yes, other sir. day, about yeah. five in the afternoon. Yeah. Isabella Cacciolo, huh? Is that right? Caracciolo. Caracciolo. Graccio? Caracciolo. Graccio. That's where I keep my car in the Graccio. Caracciolo. Conosciuto in tutto il mondo. Oh. Well, now, only one of you understands English. Is this correct? Yes. Well, so far, it's anybody's guess which one it is. <laughs> now, Ida Tandino and Isabel uh, Cacciolo. Caracciolo. 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 Now, Ida Tandino <laughs> and Isabella <laughs> Cacciolo. <laughs> now, which one is which one is Ida? Me. Me. Yeah. Now, where, where are you girls from? Uh, Germany? Italy. Italiana. Oh, you're Ita Italian. Oh, Italiana. Huh? Italiana. Oh. Caracciolo. Via Caracciolo. 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 Keep my car no, in the garage here. Non è molto difficile da dire, caracciolo. Out of it at you, yeah? Now you say you girls are from Germany? Italiani. Oh, uh, this is Ida over here, huh? Me. Oh. Ida. You're the one that doesn't speak English, huh? I speak English. You speak English? Yes. Well, bring it out. Let's hear it, huh? Okay. 
Ida, I take it you're from Italy, huh? Yeah. And Isabella, where are you from? Isabella from Italy. Isabella from Italy, yeah? Same as Seria, think. Now, ask, you ask Isabella how old she is. Quanti anni tieni? Beh, questa non dovrebbe dirmela questa domanda, perché non è domanda da fare a una donna. She must be a hundred, huh? Your name is Isabella Cacciolo? Horatio. How old does she say she is? 47. She's at 47, eh? Yeah. How much did she lose in the translation? <laughs> now, which one is Ida? I forgot. Me. You are. How long have you been in America? 37 years. You're 37 years old and she's 45? Yeah. Huh? No, I've long been in America, you said. Oh, well, how are you? You're younger years. than she is, huh? No, I'm old. You're older? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, you look the same age. Huh? Yeah, thank Except you. Except that she looks younger. <laughs> now, why did you come over here? Well, my uncle called me over here. And you could hear him all the way over in there? <laughs> why did he say, hey, what's the matter? You're in the Coraccio coming uh -huh. here. Oh, well, Caracciolo. Oh, Caracciolo. <laughs> How are you married, huh? Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, 35 years. That's a very romantic it's to be romantic, married. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 35 years. He must be a fine fellow, huh? Yeah. What was there about him that made you fall in love with him, do you remember? Nothing. <laughs> well, at least you didn't hate him when you met him, no. did you? Now, Ida, you must have a lot on the ball to be able to hang yeah. on to your husband for 35 years. Yeah. Are you a good cook? Uh, cook, look at me. <laughs> Spaghetti, lasagne, ravioli, pizza, chicken agacciatore, everything you want, I cook for you. Can you make a garaccio? Eh, garaccio, no, it's just a name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> garaccio. Oh, garaccio. You're cute, you're cute, you're cute. You like me, eh? <laughs> now, uh, while you're cooking, what does your husband do? My husband was in the garage. I uh, have a permit. He's in the garage, you mean? Garage. He's in the garage? Garage. You uh, have a... You uh, <laughs> have a permit to make wine. I call the people, you have a nice time for the friend and drink wine. He's in the garage making wine? Yeah. Doesn't he know prohibition is over? <laughs> Why didn't next time you see him, if you ever do, you yeah. know, if he ever comes out of there, tell him he can get it legally now. <laughs> What does your husband, what does your husband do for a living? Yeah. He's retired. He's retired? Yeah. How do you know he's retired? How do you know he is not time. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean he's retired. He may be just he's sleeping it off, that's he's all. Old. He's 70, what do you think? 70 isn't sure. old. Uh, Isabella, what does your husband do for a living? He's a dick. And it's a took a what is the fatch of a per vivid. Is Arto? Tell her. Is a what? Tell her. No, you tell her, I don't care. <laughs> what do you mean? He's tell her, you make a suit of a man. He's a tailor, huh? Tailor, yeah. He's a tailor and he works in a bank? No. What does he, he do? Does he make suits with suit checks in them? For you, for somebody else, for He makes men. a suit? Suit. Oh. He's cutter. He's a cutter? Yeah. No. Oh. Ida, I'm curious about you. Yeah, yeah. How did you two find your way to the show here tonight? Oh. Did you have somebody else with you? Oh, my brother. I think it's New Orleans over here someplace. Your, uh, your brother? My brother, Raymond. Oh, what does he look like? Look like me and my sister, too. <laughs> Could we get Ida's brother to stand up? Um, Raymond? Um, uh, Raymond, come up here. Hey, Raymond, how do you do? That's me. You know your sisters? Yes, sir. <laughs> no. Now, what is your last name, Raymond? What? Cavallari. Raymond Cavallari. Cavallari, eh? My capito is. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can help your sisters win yeah. some money because yeah, that's why too. I asked you to come up yeah. here. Thank you. Do you know anything at all, Raymond? I know very little. Oh. <laughs> well, 
Well, you can help Ida translate, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mi piacerebbe capirla cosa dice. I hope you win a fortune here tonight. Now, ask Isabella how she likes America and what she likes best. Come to piace l'America e quale cosa ti piace? Molto mi è piaciuto, mi è piaciuto tante cose. Tutto. Eh? Mi piace tutto dell'America. Tutti sognano di venire in America. What does she say, Raymond? You want to... Yeah, your name She likes a Hollywood movie star. You like a movie star? You like, do you know any movie star here? Which of the movie stars she like the best? Eh? Uh, beh, Anna Maria Alberghetti, Mario Lanza, Vicky Damoni, La Pierangeli. Ah. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Perry Como, Perry Como. Raymond, is there anything I should know about Ida and Isabel or that they haven't revealed yet? Or do you think I we've think covered all the bases? Uh, you covered about everything except that uh, my singing sister here says a little serenade for Just you. They want to yeah. serenade you or something. Oh. She brought along a guitar, and I think oh, you play Italian, they would like to... Spanish. Yeah. Where yeah, is the guitar? Bit. She'll uh, play a little bit. Play Ida, get your me. guitar and let's hear you sing. Sing yeah. anything you want, providing it isn't in English. Benjamin, <laughs> uh, George, do you find she's got a guitar out there? Yes, I've got a guitar. No, that's not a guitar. That's a chair, George. <laughs> You gotta sit down? Yeah, of course. Oh, you look fine, huh? Please, guard it. Send No. Where's the guitar? We have no guitar yet. John, the guitar. You sing, uh, Ida, you sing. What do you want to sing, Solomio? You sing anything you want. Anything you want. So, I don't care, I don't care, you sing. Che bella cosa na giornata e sole. Raymond was charming. Thank you. And if you're smart, you'll do something with a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Smash it into a thousand pieces. Oh, it's real good. I like it. How do you like my singing? Good. It's good, huh? Well, let's hope you can win some money in the quiz. Uh, I doubt it, but let's see. Huh? Raymond, this is an unusual thing. We rarely do this, but we're going to let you help them because They've only been in this country 35 years. 37. 37 years, uh, pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> now, you selected mythology. <laughs> George, you help him too, eh? You go. Yeah. Oh, boy. Why don't you take another subject? No, no, they like that then. Oh. All right, you ready? What handsome youth fell in love with his own reflection in the water? Quale bel giovane è che si è innamorato della sua riflessione nell'acqua? Narciso. Narcissus, that's right. Yeah. How do you say it? Narciso. Narciso, yes, that's pretty good. I thought that was an Italian cheese. <laughs> like Raymond. 
You know, have, you have Chief. one right now. One right. Now. All right. Who carved a marble statue of a maiden and then fell in love with her? Chi ha scolpito l'immagine di una ragazza e poi è caduta in amore con? Pigmalioni. Hey, these kids are no. You now have two rights. They don't need any help. I... He does. Uh... <laughs> Back to the old job. Who in mythology held up the heavens on his shoulders? Chi nella mitologia ha mantenuto il cielo sulle spalle? Atlante. Atlante. Atlas. Atlas, that's Atlantis. right. You now have three rights. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who attached his wings with wax, flew too near the sun, and dropped into the sea? Chi è stato che messo le ali de de Yes, that's right. Icarus. Uh, oh, I thought these were such lemeals. Uh. You know, I think this whole accent and dialect was a big fake, the whole thing. They were probably born in Boston or on Harvard College. Now, you've won $1,000, and you can uh, keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a chance at 10000 So go over and sit down and think about it. No matter what you decide to do, we were delighted having you on the show. You were a wonderful trio. Yes, yes. Uh, Sorry on the big question. Mrs. Tondino and Mrs. Caracciolo have decided to keep their 1000 They're not going to try for the big money. But Nancy Anderson and Scott Edwards have a different decision, and here they are to tell you all about it. Now, uh, you've won $1,000, and if you decide to try for the 10 and you fail, you wind up with a total of 500 Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to try. You're going to try, huh? Mm -hmm. And you're both going to try? Both of us, Now, yeah. get together and pick a number from 1 to 10, and then after you pick the number, spin the wheel. I pick a number. And, uh, Remember, if any number besides the one you pick comes up, the question is worth two thousand dollars. If your number comes up, the question is worth ten. What number do you have you chosen? We're gonna try three. Well, give it a turn. <laughs> now you said three and it came ten, so this question is worth two thousand dollars. You ready? I doubt if there's anyone alive who hasn't heard of Grace Kelly's marriage to Prince Rainier. For $2,000, can you tell me Grace's new last name? Well, what is the answer you two have decided you upon? anything better? I think, I don't know how I can pronounce it, not but Spinaco or whatever the name of the kingdom is, isn't it? No, I'm sorry, it's Grimaldi. Oh. G-R-I-M-A-L-D-I. -I. So I'm sorry you missed it, but you wound up with $500. That isn't too bad. Congratulations, and that'll buy you a lot of martinis. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.